Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multi-step inequalities, and we're solving this inequality and grab a solution. <coughs> Excuse me. So the negative 138 is greater than or equal to a negative 6 times 6b minus 7. Okay? Well, my first step is I want to divide by negative 6 to both sides. There's multiplication going on right there. I'm going to divide by negative 6 to both sides. What that's going to do is leave me with a 6 b minus 7 on the right, and then negative 138 divided by negative 6, 138 divided by 6 is 23. Now it's a positive 23 because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and then I need to flip my inequality from a greater than or equal to sign to a less than or equal to sign, because we divided it by a negative over that inequality. So now let's just go add a 7 to both sides. 23 plus 7 is 30, is less than or equal to 6b. Divide by 6 to both sides. That leaves me with b by itself here on the right, and 30 divided by 6 being 5 on the left. Now I can rewrite this to have b come first, because that looks nice and neat. So b comes first. I then have to flip that inequality, again, from a less than or equal to sign to a greater than or equal to sign, and have just a 5 on the right. So b is greater than or equal to just 5. So now I want to graph it. So let's put a graph right here, really quickly, a small little graph. We'll just go by 5, so we have 0, 5, 10, 15, and negative 5 right here. Okay? Well, if b can equal 5, we're going to have a closed circle at 5. And then if b is greater than also 5, we're going to put an arrow to the right. <clears throat> and there we have it, where this graph shows that b is greater than or equal to 5. Equal to 5, closed circle, greater than with the arrow going to the right. That's it. That's our final answer. B is greater than or equal to 5. So let's recap. We have negative 138 is greater than or equal to negative 6 times 6b minus 7. I divided by negative 6 to both sides, giving me negative 138 divided by negative 6 to be a positive 23. Negative divided by negative is positive. And then since I divided by a negative over the inequality, the inequality needs a flip to be a less than or equal to sign. And then from here, I was given what's left to 6b minus 7. I added a 7 to both sides, giving me 6b on the right and a 30 on the left. I then divided by 6 to both sides, giving me b by itself. So I had 5 is less than or equal to b. I want to rewrite this, make it look nice and neat. So I have b come first. So b now is greater than or equal to 5. Make sure we flip the inequality when we do that. So that answer now I need a graph. So I have a closed circle because it's equal to 5. And I shade it to the right because we said b was greater than also 5. So this graph matches my final answer, which was b is greater than or equal to a positive 5.